Hey everyone, I'm Pia J. Welcome to my channel. This is my first video and today I'll be unboxing my Avene order that I've placed recently and I'll be taking you through the existing Avene products that I've been using for a while. So let's get into it. Just a little intro about Aveen. It's a French brand that's based on dermatology and hydrotherapy. It's about 270 years old. They conduct a lot of research to get their products right. And it's specifically designed for sensitive skin. But I've been using this brand for over five years. And my experience has mostly been positive. Let's get into the box and see what I've ordered. I've ordered four items and I've also got a lot of samples. So just to show you, this is how the box came. It's got a little tape across it with the brand Avene and its subsidiary or sister brands. Um, I've also got a receipt with details of my order packing paper and let's get into the first product I've ordered a micellar water I wanted to try something different I usually use the Garnier micellar water which is quite popular but I'm willing to try this out it does have fragrance and a little I'm a little sensitive to fragrance but I'm willing to try this out and I will be reviewing it in the future this is called makeup removing micellar water sensitive face and eyes uh, quite a straightforward product uh, as i said earlier most of the products are based on the avian thermal spring water this is the main ingredient in this product we've also got glycerin and a lot of other products sorry a lot of other ingredients second product that we are going to get into well i've gotten two different sizes of the same product so these are my two other products it's the avian thermal spring water this is amazing i've been using it for over five years it's my go-to in my skincare routine i first discovered this when i had a skincare crisis and I will be making a more in-depth video about what happened and how I came about Avene and how I started using their products. Then I've got something I've never ordered before and it's not available in the other countries um, where I live in. So I was willing to try it. I've got a lovely gentle scrub for the body. I, I love this color. It totally goes with the branding. And I'm excited to try this out. I felt like I needed to shed off my winter skin. And I thought this was going to be something exciting because I don't usually use scrub products. Um, but I do use the occasional uh, physical exfoliant, you know. Uh, but. I wanted to try a product and I trusted Avene. So I'll be reviewing this as well in the future. I've got a lot of different samples, but I'll get into those later or not. Let me just go through them with you. I've got two different cleansers and then I've got three different moisturizers from three different ranges. So the range that I usually use is the tolerance range. It's specifically designed for hypersensitive skin. I've had, sorry, I'm just going to, I've had a great experience with those products. Um, I've got a cleansing lotion here. This product is very interesting. It's been discontinued, I think, around the world. They're probably going to reformulate it. Um, but I initially bought this and never got a lot of use out of it until I ran out of the older tolerance emulsion. Um, 
that was my go-to moisturizer and I ran out of the moisturizer in a different country and it was hard to get to uh, Avene products let, a, let alone the tolerance extreme range so this particular product is a cleansing lotion with a no rinse formula quite thick in its consistency and I never got a lot of use out of it because I don't wear a lot of makeup um, but something clicked and I decided to use this with a little bit of the Avene thermal spring water and mix it and decided to wear that as a thin layer of moisturizer in a very hot and humid country and that worked very well so a bit controversial that I use this in a very sort of untraditional non-traditional way and um yeah it it worked and I'm still using it I'm a little bit sad that it's been discontinued but um I do have alternative tolerance moisturizers which you know have been okay they've also been reformulated um compared to the earlier tolerance emulsion and cream that they had this what i've got here is called the tolerance control soothing skin recovery cream and balm so the cream is a slightly thinner consistency and the balm is a slightly thicker consistency i have tried these out i haven't been entirely happy with them because the formula does have a few ingredients in them that are different to the original uh, product and i think those ingredients may be making me more sensitive but i will get into that in another video and to give you more details then i've got the other three products which are obviously the uh, uh, the thermal spring water my go-to as i said earlier and I've got a Cicalophate Repairing Protective Cream. Um, this is also for sensitive, irritated skin. I use this on dry patches, on, um, you know, rosacea prone skin. And sometimes also I use it on my psoriasis. Uh, just spot treatment works fantastic. And then I've also got the anti-aging uh, sun care SPF 50. I'm not sure if this is available still. This is uh, a lot of the products have been reformulated and changed. I'm not a fan of white cast. This does have a little bit of white cast, which does disappear um, in a few minutes this is a little bit more greasy than i'd like it to be but it's still my go-to i think protecting your skin is still a priority i do have other sunscreens um but this does perfectly well as well one more thing before i leave is i've been having a little snack which i've been liking a lot they're called baby butterflies from sugarfina I've obviously gone through them. So if you want to try something different as a snack, make sure you get your hands on these. I think they're quite widely available. Um, we've got strawberry, lemon, apple, and raspberry. So just want to end this video on that sweet note. Subscribe, like, and stay tuned. Ciao.